What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Insurance Auto Auctions here in Oklahoma City for another walk around. Let's jump into this video today and see what we find. So we're going to walk around and we're going to see if we can find anything interesting in this video and the best part of the yard is coming up. This is my favorite part of the day when I'm on the third to fourth video we end up getting into a lot of the donations and I thoroughly enjoy donated vehicles because you never really know what you're going to get. Now, we're not there yet. We've got to get through this last little piece of the yard here and then we will be in the section that typically has a bunch of donations. Currently, I'm not seeing, ah, I know. Give me a break, guys. I saw a second gen Prius over here. It might be a donation. We're close enough that it could be. I just want to look at it real quick. I'm not gonna take up much of your time. No, I'm gonna pass on this one. It was hit pretty hard in the front. It's been keyed. Uh, it's got quite a bit of damage down there, I think. Maybe not, it may not be that bad. I don't know. Oh, it's also hail damaged. Oh, and the fuse box is opened and somebody somebody got pissed and keyed the living heck out of this prius and the gas door is ripped off okay so we're not looking at this one um an infinity i30 oh i haven't seen one of these it's been a long time i haven't seen one of these in a long time unfortunately it's yeah it's pretty bad now i know that most of you clicked the video because you saw the Mustang. No, it wasn't a Mustang. Uh, maybe it was a Camaro. I, I don't know. I'm kidding. It's a Camaro SS that's sitting right over here. Well, let's just take a look at it real quick because I saw this in the distance when I was walking by earlier in a previous video and I thought, that's not a bad looking Camaro. Not at all. A little bit older, but that's fine. It's still an SS, still 6.2, maybe a manual transmission. I don't know. It's a 2010. And uh, I just realized I saw the good angle of this car when I was walking by. Um, I did not see the bad angle of this car because it's, it's, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty bad, guys. That's pretty bad. You know, here's, here's the thing, though. Here's what I'm going to say. It's even got the Brembo brakes. This is totally fixable, right? And you don't have to go through and de-skin the whole thing to fix it. I mean, I know that's the right way to do it, but I, I guarantee you there is a PDR person out there. Well, it's automatic. It's the red interior, blown bags, which is to be expected. There's somebody out there that could fix this. You know, a lot of this, I think, could be popped back out. That's just a big dent. Somebody could pop that out for sure. You could straighten that out. Yes, you're going to need a little bit of mud and obviously a repaint. Um, the back bumper, I don't know. It's got one broken clip. I would not replace the bumper over a clip. I wouldn't. It looks like everything is still connected back here. I would put this back together. Tail light replace, I think it's actually broken. But the bumper I would save. I'd PDR this as much as possible, then send it for uh, mud paint blend. Obviously, you're going to need the, uh, the curtain bags, which may have taken out the headliner as well. Most of the time they do. Is that the only bag that's blown? Is this side? It doesn't. No, no, no. Both sides are blown. Thankfully, it didn't blow the, uh, the seats. So that's nice. And then of course there's the suspension work, but I mean, suspension work on these is, it really shouldn't be that big of a deal. looks like somebody just put some brand new rotors on that. Those rotors look new. It's gonna need a wheel. The wheel's completely torn up. I wouldn't even bother trying to refinish that, trying to fix it. I would just get another stock wheel. That tire looks good though. So I mean, you could replace the wheel, keep the tire. There's nothing wrong with that tire. This really isn't too bad to fix, uh, but as you, most of you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a body and paint guy. It's not my thing. So for me, it probably costs a small fortune. And again, uh, we've got the pretensioners blown on the seat belts too. Not a huge deal. I use myairbags.com. It's not sponsored, but whenever I have questions or I need parts, I typically go to them when it comes to airbag stuff, including uh, pretensioners for the seat belts, uh, rebuilding seat belts. They're really good at that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, it's going to need a little work, guys. It's going to... Oh, ouch. Getting in here sucks. 
The headliner, I think, is okay, though. You guys tell me what you think. Uh, it's a little bit folded and creased, like right here. But I think if you put it all back together with fresh bags... Yeah, I don't know. You probably should, you probably should replace it. I'm cheap, though. I'm cheap. Let's see what it does. Oh, it sounds good, doesn't it? Man, it sounds good. Service airbag, you don't say? Huh. I would have never guessed. 91,000 miles. That's nothing. Really, that's nothing. It runs all right. A little bit of a vibration in here for sure, but it seems to run okay. Let's see what we got down here. We've got uh, oil pressure. What about 60 PSI? Voltage sitting around 1415. Not bad. Wish it was a manual transmission though. I believe this uh, 2010 is probably a six speed. It goes into gear. Everything in the rear is still connected. Yeah, she tries to she tries to move. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make it move, obviously, but give it a little rev. Let's see what it too quiet way too quiet man that needs to that needs to get louder oh i can't get out of here man i'm like trapped in this little little car let's pop the hood take a quick peek see what she's working with uh-oh come on there we go oh wow that's filthy I don't think this has ever been cleaned. Like, literally, ever been cleaned. Huh. Sounds good, though, doesn't it? Spider webs under the hood tells me it's been, uh, been sitting for a while. So, the fact that it fired up and it's running this good, that's pretty dang impressive, guys. This is not going to be one for me, obviously. This is not something I'm looking for right now. And it was when I first saw it because I saw it from way over there and I just saw the back end. I was like, hey, that's a sharp looking uh, Camaro SS. But uh, yeah, you get to this side and it's, mm, yeah, you ain't driving this one home, right? Still, could be a good project for somebody. This one is just not going to be for me. So let's keep going. I like that little Civic. I don't need to look at it, but I do. I'm going to go look at it. Not the wrecked one. Well, this one's probably... It is, isn't it? No? This one's not wrecked? I don't know. I like this little Civic, man. Hold on. Let me look at the other side. It's a pedal car. It's a pedal car. It's almost as good as a donation, guys. Seriously. Almost as good as a donation. I'm going to set my bag down. We're going to take a quick look at this one. It's a 2012 Civic, and it looks like it's the uh, kind of base model version. It's Got an interesting choice of rims. The fronts are completely different from the back. The back looks kind of ridiculous, crazy. XXR. Yeah, those are kind of wild. The window tent is um, leaving in a hurry. But otherwise, not too shabby. Needs, uh, well, it needs factory wheels. It's what it needs. Can you guys tell I'm a big fan of factory wheels? <laughs> like, I, I think that factory wheels just look good on almost everything. Not everything, but almost. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Factory wheels, I think, just look, they generally look good on everything, you know? <sighs> That's not an absolute, though. There's many cars that have ugly looking wheels, but I just think the factory does a really good job of making wheels that suit the car nicely. I'm not sure what happened here. That's... That's interesting. I, how do you even do that without breaking the window? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. It's got hail damage, pretty significant hail damage. It is an automatic, and it looks really bad. Like this car, this is... I'm surprised it doesn't smell worse. It doesn't smell good, but I'm surprised that it doesn't smell worse. This this is this is pretty rough. Oh man, I guarantee you it's dead. Probably been sitting for years. Let's see. The date on this is 2022, March of 22. So it's obviously sat for a little while. Um, almost two years. Obviously dead as a doornail. We already knew that. Let's pop the hood. 
because I have heard that nothing kills a Honda. So I'll be surprised if this has any major issues. I don't know. I have heard I've had I have heard that Hondas and transmissions sometimes have issues with one another and occasionally they're known for getting a divorce. But I don't think that's like a super common thing. 204,000 miles is what it says. The battery was replaced in 12 of 22. So that was just a year ago. Huh, well, I heard noises. Lights have come on, so looks like it's got some juice. It probably runs like a top. We'll find out. Well, it runs. Hold on. It's getting better. It's getting better. Oh, wow. Look at the lights. Man, that looks like a BMW. Good Lord. More lights up there, too. ABS check system. Ooh. And it's running weird. Check VSA system. Okay. Check power steering. Oh, power steering works. Oh, she is not happy, guys. Oh, my goodness. Door open. Okay, that one we can live with. We can live with the door being open. Let's see what's going on down here. Check brake system. Oh, boy. Um, wow. Uh, we have a steering fault up there we have traction control tpms brake light and and no the the brake's not on we have a red brake light we have an abs light we have a flashing check engine light yeah um this car has got some problems man and then you've got this really cool like primary i guess this is your primary screen up here i like this it's got about a quarter of a tank of gas this is a nice screen. Almost looks kind of holographic. Very interesting. Well, it does run. Whoa, what's what's going on? What? I don't know. This <laughs> it ain't good, man. It moves. Brakes seem to work. Backwards? Yeah, I mean, it goes forwards and backwards. The brakes work. The steering works. You can rev it up. It just it just ain't running well, is what it is. Um, yeah, I think we're going to probably walk away from this one pretty quick. Important window works. Express up and down. Less important window. Nope. This does not work. Air conditioning. I didn't hear the compressor. No. I'm going to say that's a no-go on the compressor as well. Oh, now it doesn't even want to rev at all. Well. Ugh, the exhaust smells... Uh, pretty funky this poor car man i almost feel bad for the thing uh it looks like oops it looks like some kid probably had it you know and just didn't take very good care of her now there's a couple things it's been sitting for a while so it could just have some bad gas you know if it's been sitting for like two years it could definitely have some bad gas or it could have a bad coil or it could have fouled out spark plugs or it could be missing the radiator cap there is nothing in it and if you were to look further down in there you might just see maybe goop all down in the radiator as if maybe it had a head gasket problem or something uh, definitely a cooling system issue and they plugged it up with a a whole bunch of goop really nasty goopy stuff and uh yeah probably really messed up the engine on this one so we are we're gonna stay away from this one and this is why you shouldn't use a bunch of really thick chemicals for clogging up your radiator because they can also clog up other things in your cooling system but to each their own I will say this, I am still driving my Chevy 1500 
that has Blue Devil in the cooling system, not an issue. No head gasket problems have returned, and it hasn't plugged up the cooling system at all because that is not how Blue Devil works. We're going to continue on our way. Another dad gum civic i actually really like that one that's the sunroof version which me which means it's got leather interior hondas were always pretty predictable man if they had a sunroof well you could pretty well bet that they came with leather interior and if they didn't have a sunroof you could pretty well bet they did not come with le leather interior this is an insurance company what where where are you hurt nowhere interesting Today's video is going to be all about Honda Civics. We've got good tires. We've got a good looking body, a few dings here and there, but overall not too shabby, guys. This is an insurance car. Maybe it was stolen. Maybe it's got a busted ignition or something. Let's take a closer look. Oh, it's a manual. <laughs> yes. Now that's what I'm talking about. Okay, I got, to, oh, no, 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 no keys? No, wait, wait, here they are. I found them. Yes, please have power. No, it does not have power. The shifter fills, <laughs> the shifter fills, well, yeah, a little, little funky, little funky. I'm gonna pop this hood. We're gonna give this thing a quick jump start, guys. I got to. What is it, an 05 Civic? And, well, it's probably got a million miles on it, but I mean, that's all right. Where's the, where's the, there it is. They tried to hide it on me. There we go. Ho oh, ho, oh, VTEC with a manual transmission and a k and air filter. Are you kidding me? This thing is a screaming demon, man. I'm telling you, she's ready to go. Batteries five of 2022. Be interesting to see what the mileage is on it. It says 205 on the sticker, but it doesn't say 205,000. It just says 204 is what it says. What that means, I have no idea. 204,000, that probably is about accurate. Let's get this thing connected here. Let's turn on the booster pack, put it in override mode. And let's see what it does. Bang! Did I scare you? No, I didn't think I would. All right, let's see what, what it does here. I'm actually kind of excited about this one. Look at how clean this interior is. I mean, the body's in great shape. The interior's in great shape. This is the opposite of the Honda we just looked at. This is a car that somebody actually cared about. 204,000 miles on the odometer. All right, clutch. Seems nice. It runs. Let's see how many lights come on the dash here. None. Brake light is on because the brake is on. Oh, we have an airbag light. That's it, an airbag light. Let's see, it goes forwards, yeah, backwards, ooh, uh-oh, there we go. So the shifter is a little, well, it's hard to explain, but it, it's, you know, definitely a little, ooh, ouch, you hear that? throw out bearing yep well just turn the radio up and you won't hear it well you can't because it's asking for a code and it doesn't come with the books that's unfortunate I'm sure you could find the code for it somewhere air conditioning is ice cold works like it's supposed to steering feels good important window yeah it works Less important window works. I don't care about the sunroof. Well, you can hear that chatter. Yeah, she's she's chattering pretty good there, guys. 
e-brake off. There we go. Yeah. That's... That's unfortunate. Well, you know, it is what it is. Either way, it's a good running little car. But that noise, that's gonna, that's gonna get to you eventually. Uh, but again, once you get the code for the radio, just go on a road trip, man. Turn the radio up, you never hear it. Otherwise, it runs pretty good. It's not like this is a difficult clutch to change or anything. This isn't hard to do. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put it on my watch list just because I'm curious. And if it goes for really cheap, I'll snatch it up. But, I mean, it's a Honda. It's never going to go really cheap. All right, all right, all right. Let's continue. We're getting now into the part that I'm excited about, which is the, uh, the donated section. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. I already showed that car in a video, guys, and uh, nobody watched it. That's okay though, I don't blame you. Here we have a uh, Chevy Cobalt. That's a pedal car. We're not gonna look at that one either. We're gonna come down here and we are going to see before they close, which they're closing quickly, if we can find any donations like this Pontiac Vibe over here, which I believe is a Toyota Matrix, if I'm not mistaken, an 04 Vibe, 299, 999 on the odometer. I found out that these things, for whatever reason, have a tendency for the odometers to quit recording after 299, 999. They just die. They just stop. Not sure why. It's just the way it is. Nice burnt orange color. It's got some hail damage. It's supposed to be a run and drive, which doesn't surprise me because these things literally run forever. Like forever. They just don't die. I'm not overly interested in a Pontiac Vibe, especially since I'm running short on time today. So if it starts on its own, great. We'll check it out real quick. And if not, then we're going to move along. It's got power. It's also got a busted windshield. Oh, hello. Uh, automatic. Let's put the key in and see what it does. Because they're going to be throwing me out real, real soon, guys. Like, no joke. They're going to... They're going to be coming over here saying, hey, you gots to go. There we go. Oh, it runs. There's some funny noises coming from under the hood. Very funny noises. I, I think the AC works. Oh, power steering. There's your funny noises. It's the power steering. It's revved up a tad on the high side, guys, at uh, 2,000 RPMs. Check engine light, airbag light, half a tank of fuel. As for the air conditioning, I don't know, guys. It doesn't feel particularly cold. Um, I'm going to turn it off. You've got a nice... 115 watt or 100 watt 115 volt inverter built in you got an old school cigarette lighter how about that i don't think it's ever been used uh you know yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna pass on this one because i really wasn't out here to look at one of these uh decent car uh lots of hail damage but if you can get it for cheap and you can get it to idle down a little bit yeah that one could be a really decent little commuter car for somebody but not what i'm out here looking for today let's see what else we got honda civics come on show me some good donated cars out here guys no uh-oh oh boy well and here's the corvette man uh this is in the same auction. This is the one that had the deer go through the hood, if you remember right. It's in the same auction that, uh, well, some of my other cars that I'm bidding on is in. And this sucker is already up to over $5,000. So that's a hell no from me. Not a chance. Uh, and there's definitely more damage than there appears to be. 
a <laughs> lot more damage than than there appears to be and i'm just going to leave it at that we did that car in a dedicated video before you guys saw it this is going to be the last one right here is this a donation no it's not it's an abarth an abarth oh man this little car I just, I don't know why, but I really love it. Guys, it is 4.56, they are literally closing, so I'm only gonna be able to walk you around this car real, real quick, and then we're gonna have to go. It's a legit Abarth, this isn't a fake. I mean, not that I could see anybody faking one of these anyway. This is a car that most people probably kinda hate, but honestly, I just love the thing, I really do. I hope that it's got enough juice that we can start it. There is damage to the roof, pretty significant damage too guys that's that's pretty bad it says it's a run and drive with 59,000 miles on the odometer so we're just gonna we're gonna jump in here and hope it runs it's going to oh we got blown bags no no they're not or are they no i don't think they're blown all right let's take the key ignition on whoa okay all right thank you Oh, no, no, it's dead. I don't have time. Unfortunately, I don't have time. Um, I'm assuming this is the hood release. Yeah, I don't have time guys because they are literally closing up. In fact, I think I've already been locked out. Yeah, I have. <laughs> anyway, there it is. You got your Scorpion right there. Mopar battery. Turbocharger right there. They're closed. I gotta go. I am really late. Literally, I have to run because they've already closed the shops up. I, I might be locked in here already unless the gate's open. Um, <laughs> this is how it goes sometimes, guys. I'm running way behind today. And uh, sometimes that's just the way the cookie crumbles. We're going to get out of here, though. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. Let me know. Drop your comments down below. And consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.